some time ago. In fact around six years ago, I captured a holy grail time lapse at a relative's farm in the northern state of Victoria in my home country of Australia. Recently, I was going through my archive of captures when I came upon a particular sequence that I've recently started to work on. I've done hundreds of time-lapse captures over the years, but most of them, I've never gotten around to editing, for one reason or another. One of the things I like about time-lapses, is that apart from capturing time in motion and seeing the dynamic changes during the capture session, is that there's always the opportunity that I may photograph something that I wouldn't have noticed or seen otherwise. Such as meteors burning up in the atmosphere in the form of shooting stars, or an eagle in mid-flight circling my drone before attempting to knock it out of the sky. I have an open mind about most things, but I can't explain what this would have been in this particular time-lapse. I wish I'd noticed it the following day, as I would have attempted more time-lapse and video captures on the next night to see if the phenomenon would repeat itself. But as they say, hindsight is a beautiful thing. Here is the time-lapse in question, See if you can notice anything out of the ordinary. Did you see it? Apart from catching this beautiful shooting star, did you notice anything else? I'll circle the area in question and I'll show that segment again. Now I'll slow down the sequence and crop in closer you'll see what looks like some kind of reflection or a formation of transparent rectangular objects at various positions and levels, forming a pattern for a short while. Because I have no idea what it could be, I thought I'd upload this video to see if anyone out there could help explain what it may have been. First up, I'll explain what gear I was using. I was using my Nikon D610 full-frame DSLR with a Tamron SP24 to 70mm f2.8 lens. My exposure at the time was set to a 20-second shutter speed with an ISO range between ISO 2000 and ISO 3200. I did have another camera working at the same time, but it had a much shorter capture session, so it didn't capture the same phenomenon. The Nikon D610 was mounted onto a Star Tracker mount, which was in turn mounted and connected to the Dynamic Perception Stage 0 dolly, which controlled its panning movement. The Stage 0 is a motorized dolly, so as the camera panned with the tracker mount, it was also moving backwards along the dolly throughout the capture. Based on the number of frames that captured the phenomena, I'd say it was there for roughly 30 minutes. At first, I thought that even though I didn't use any lights, that maybe it was some kind of refracted light on the lens. Similar to a lens flare, but as you can see from the capture itself, there was no bright light source to be seen. Also, a light source wouldn't explain the particular pattern or formation seen in the clouds. Which brings me to another point. The cloud filaments are moving in front of the phenomenon, partially obscuring it as they pass in front. Surely, if it was some kind of lens reflection or lens flare sort of thing, I would have thought that with it being the lens, it would appear in front of everything within the captured image. I have no idea what this could have been. I don't think it could have been some kind of aurora, as the location was over 170 kilometers north of Melbourne. About 50 kilometers short of Victoria's northern border. 
which I believe would have been too far north to see the Aurora Australis, the Southern Lights. It wasn't until I was editing the sequence even further, playing around with various filter effects and trying to bring out more detail, that I realized something else that caught me by surprise. The formation was also moving in sync with the stars. So not only did they seem to be behind or above the layer of clouds, but they seemed to be part of the stars, or at least stationary, and with the Earth's rotation seemed to be moving with the stars. I'm not sure what to make of this, but I feel that it's just another piece of information that suggests that the formation of outlines was not a trick of light. During the editing of this video, I had already uploaded a short version to my YouTube channel. Someone from the community was kind enough to inform me that it could have been a phenomenon known as a sun dog. Which is when flat ice crystals are suspended in the clouds, or are falling flat which can refract light from the sun and may cause a bright point of light or a small rainbow to appear on either side of the sun. A sun or moon halo is a similar phenomenon. If you search online for sun dogs, you will see a lot of variations of this kind of refracted light. Generally they are seen within 22 degrees of the sun, usually at the same altitude. Even though what I've captured visually appears slightly different to the imagery I found online, the phenomenon did appear above the location where the sun had passed the horizon. It would also explain why it appeared to be moving in sync with star motion. The sun dog phenomenon does seem like the most likely scenario to what I had captured on that day. Please leave a comment below and tell me if you agree or have any other explanation of what you think this could have been. It's an amazing world that we live in, which never ceases to amaze me. Take care, God bless and be kind to each other.